Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Continuing on with our poster series, we've been spending a lot of time destroying our city. We're going to continue that with a few more steps, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add plumes of smoke, both quickly and easily. So first you want to go to Google and type in smoke plume or something like that, and you'll find something like this. What I'm going to do is use the refine edge tool to make a perfect mask. And to start, we're going to grab the polygonal lasso tool and create a quick shape around the object on the inside of the smoke. You could do it on the outside, but the masking process with the refine tool uh, doesn't work as well. So bear with me while I get all these angles out. Okay, so we've got our selection. What we're going to do now is right click or control click if you're using a Mac without a right click button. And go down to refine edge. And what you have here is you have a new view. The transparent red means the area that is masked out. And we're going to refine this. Now you have a few different options before I get started on how to look at the view. You can either start with marching ants. You can look at it compared to black compared to white, compared to an empty layer, but for the most part I like overlay because it'll show different transparency options. So it's really simple, just like a brush tool, you click and drag around the areas of smoke like so and it fills it in for you. And it's pretty powerful how effective it is. So bear with me again, I'm just going to go through this and show you how it works. Okay, that's pretty good. It's not perfect and you do have options to make changes to different parts of it. For example, you can change the radius of your pixel count. You can make you can make changes to how smooth the changes to the mask are. Add a little bit of feather to it. Change around the contrast settings. Do all kinds of things. It's pretty cool. So, we're going to press okay. And then we're going to right click, select layer via copy. And let's go ahead and hide the background to take a look at it. And it's pretty awesome. Not only are the uh, did the mask cover the areas around the smoke, it created a little bit of transparency, making it that much more real. So we're just going to drag it over to our city. And it's a little big, so we're going to transform it. Command and Control T. Press an old shift while you move it down. Put it right around there. Move the layer itself behind the city. And with a little bit of color timing, you can make that blend in perfectly. So we're getting pretty close to finishing our city. And the next step we're gonna do is use other images, such as a picture of a rusted wall or a stained piece of paper to composite into our city here and add to the old dilapidated effect. <laughs> 